Good afternoon, kids. How are you today? I hope life is so good for all of you. I am Teacher Vanessa, your learning facilitator for today's session in Math 5. Please prepare your module, notebook, and ball pen. Today, we are going to visualize multiplication of decimal numbers using pictorial models. Let's have a review of what you have learned on solving word problem. Say, I can do this. Please repeat three times. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Good job, kids. Now, solve independently. Say your answer after the B. Nana has 10.5 meters of cloth for the Girl Scout uniform. She used 5.25 meters only. How many meters of cloth are left? Question number one. What is asked? many meters of cloth are left? If you answered how many meters of cloth are left, you are correct! Number 2. What are given? Ten point five meters and 5.25 meters of cloth. Yes, 10.5 meters and 5.25 meters of cloth are given in the word problem. Number 3. What is the operation to be used? Subtraction. If you answered subtraction, you are correct. Number 4. How many meters of cloth does Nina have? 5.25 meters. Correct! There are 5.25 meters. And number 5. What is your solution and answer? Point five meters minus five point twenty five meters equals five point twenty five meters. Good job! It is ten point five meters minus five point twenty five meters equals five point twenty five meters. What is your score for this review activity? I hope you did well. Kids, let us study the problem and try to find out the answers on the questions that follow. A piece of cardboard is 0.3 millimeter thick. A piece of paper is 0.2 times as thick. How thick is the piece of paper? Questions Number 1. What is the thickness of the cardboard? And number 2. How thick is the piece of paper? To answer the problem, we will illustrate 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 using pictorial models. 3 out of 10 columns are shaded. Therefore, it is 0 0.3. 2 out of 10 rows are shaded, therefore, it is 0 0.2. 6 out of 100 squares are doubled shaded. 
Therefore, the answer is 0 0.06. We will represent each factor using the pictorial models of 10 times 10 grid. 0 0.3 will be shown in the grid as 3 out of 10 columns shaded multiplied by 0 0.2 shown in the grid as 2 out of 10 rows shaded. When the horizontal and vertical lines place over the other, 6 out of 100 squares are doubled shaded. The intersection of 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 to know the thickness of the paper, multiply 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 is 0 0.06 of pictorial models of 10 times 10 grid that represent each factor with horizontal and vertical lines placed over the other. The double shaded part represents the answer. Three shaded columns equals 0 0.3. Eight shaded rows equals 0 0.8. 24 out of 100 squares are doubled shaded. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.24. Look at the pictorial model. How many grids did we use to show 0 0.3? Correct! There are 30 shaded grids used to show 0 0.3. How many grids did we use to show 0 0.8? Well done! There are 80 shaded grids used to show 0 0.8. 0 0.3 as 3 out of 10 columns shaded multiplied by 0 0.8 as 8 out of 10 rows shaded. When the horizontal and vertical lines place over the other, 24 out of 100 squares are doubled shaded. The intersection of 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.24. It's so easy, right? Let's try another. Get your notebook and ball pen. Answer the problem using pictorial models. A piece of cardboard is 0 0.5 mm thick. A piece of paper is 0 0.5 times as thick. How thick is the piece of paper? What is the illustration of 0 0.5 mm times 0 0.5 mm? You will be given 20 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Let's try to check if you illustrated well your answer on multiplying decimals using pictorial models. 0 0.5 will be shown in the grid as 5 out of 10 columns shaded, multiplied by 0 0.5 shown in the grid as 5 out of 10 rows shaded. When the horizontal and vertical lines place over the other, 25 out of 100 squares are doubled shaded. The intersection of 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Therefore, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 
What is your answer, kids? 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 equals 0 0.25. Correct! This time, let's check your understanding of our lesson. In this activity, we are going to write the multiplication sentence for this model. Ready? Let's start! What is your answer, kids? Let's see! Zero point one times zero point four equals zero point four. Is your answer correct? Well done. Aside from giving the correct multiplication sentence given the pictorial model, let us have an activity wherein you will color the grid to represent the multiplication sentences. Look at the grids. Color the grids representing the multiplication sentences. Kindly use yellow and blue colors. You will be given 30 seconds to do the activity. Please sit straight, kids. Now you are ready to start. Number 1 0 0.3 times 0 0.8. Number 2 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. Number 3, 0 0.9 times 0 0.4. Number 4, 0 0.5 times 0 0.7. And number 5, 0 0.3 times 0 0.5. Are you finished? Let us check on your answers. Compare your answers on the illustration flashed on your screen. Are your answers the same? Great! Kids, this is how you can visualize multiplication of decimal numbers using pictorial models. Multiplying decimals can be visualized by representing each factor with horizontal and vertical lines placed over the other. The double shaded part represents the answer to the equation. 3 out of 10 columns are shaded, therefore it is 0 0.3 times 2 out of 10 rows are shaded, therefore it is 0 0.2 equals 6 out of 100 squares are double shaded. The intersection of 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 Therefore, the answer is 0 0.06. Fill in each blank the correct missing decimal. Refer to the pictorial model shown in each number. Number 1. 0 0.1 
times equals 0 0.03. Number 2 0 0.5 equals 0 0.20 Number 3 0 0.5 times 0 0.7 equals Number 4 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.06 And number 5 0 0.8 times 0 0.7 equals All right, kids, let's check your work. Compare your answers with the answers flashed on your TV screen. What is your score? If you got 5, very good. 4 and 3, good. 2 and below, practice and study more. Kids, we learned how to visualize multiplication of decimal numbers using pictorial models. I am glad to assist you today. Kids, you can review this video through our YouTube channel. Search RLTV Lady Division. Click like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of the latest uploads. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion today. This is your teacher Vanessa reminding you that mathematics is not only for solving numbers. It is also for dividing zeros, subtracting sadness, adding happiness, and multiplying love and forgiveness. See you next time. Goodbye!